So let's get into unboxing those spiderlings. Following on from my previous unboxing video, we are going to be rehousing, well not rehousing, we're going to be housing the spiderlings from the shipment I got from the Spider Shop UK. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it and rehouse these 10 spiderlings. Okay, so moving on to the spiderlings that we have. I'm going to start with all of the old worlds. So we've got four old worlds. So we'll start with the H Villa Cella, extremely small spiderling. So because H Villa Cella is often a tiny dwarf species and a very small when they are in the spiderling stage. We're going to be using the tub. So let's have a look. Where we're at. Okay, I can see it at the very bottom. Can you see that? Extremely small. extremely small so it should be right in there it's just going to be hard to keep track of so we've got one already labeled up as s kelsey Artem. so let's get a bit of substrate in there i just like to provide the spiderlings with just a leaf from a fake plant just as a uh, like a hiding spot so let's have a look what we're dealing with here slightly larger so that is going to require something else It'll be okay in this tub for now, but it's going to require my spiderling transportation kit, which is somewhere. So, you can see the spider there. So, I'm just going to cut that, get it up. Put the transportation cardboard. And then realize we don't have any holes. So we're going to put the spider back down. Find the cup I made the other day which contained all the holes. <laughs> we have a S calciatum on the run. We're okay, we've got him back. Perfecto. S. Calciotum back in the collection. Let's get this lid on before it comes out. So, same again. Hattie Hattie. Exactly the same. Slightly larger by the looks of things. Oh, that is in heavy pre-malt, that is. That is going to be malting probably tonight, to be fair, so let's just get this one out of the way quick. Now, last but not least, the Pistriata. Two centimetres. This one could be slightly larger, although I'm expecting the same size as the Hattie Hattie. Definitely a pokey. Absolutely gorgeous. Using the persuasion stick. See if I can pick this up so you can have a better view. Yes, yeah, so if I hold it like that, you should be able to see how this system works. And there we go. Easy as that. Lid on. That one will need a rehouse pretty much straight away, so we'll get onto that. Okay, moving on to the new worlds. Start with the G pork piece. So what I'm going to do is just fill this back up with the substrate straight away. 
Make a starter board down one side. Gotta love New World Slings. <laughs> so easy. B Hamurai. Brachypalma Hamurai. The Mexican Red Knee. One to two centimeters, so it could be slightly larger. Yep, slightly larger, but still big enough for that enclosure. Nandu Chromatus, same again. So I'm using tongs to take this out just simply because it's easier. Look, if you try and use your fingers, it'll just break away. So using tongs, one sweet, swift movement, you can pull the whole thing out. Nandu Chromatus can be wild, so. <laughs> oh, it's tiny. Another one done. The Cantuscuria geniculata. I'm very excited about this one. I can't believe I've finally got an a, a geniculata. It's going to be amazing. This is. Oh, I really do hope this one's a female when it grows up. Well, I hope it's female now, but you know what I mean. I really do hope. Easy as that, lid. Now, last but certainly not least is the Salma Pace Erminia, two centimeters, so it might be too large for this, but let's have a quick look. Ooh. <laughs> oh dear, that was lucky. Trench was right at the top then, so if I'd have opened that, would have been in for a surprise. So I think we're gonna to have to use the technique for this because it is slightly larger than anticipated. Wow, look at that. That's a sun tiger. Amazing. I'm messed about using cardboard and I can just do that. That'll do. And that's it. Unboxing complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments down below. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff happening this year uh, regarding the spiders, so you know, stay tuned and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And as always, I'll see you again next week. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.